Welcome to Ethanos Plays, I'm the Josh Meister, and this is my very first Nuzlocke. We're playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, a brand new game that just came out for the Nintendo Switch. And what's this? Hello there, it's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Oh, Munchlax. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop close bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Your name is TJM, the Josh Meister? Yes. Okay, so you're TJM. That's what I said. A fine name, that is. Yes, I agree. Who's that guy? Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. Never seen him in my life, but okay. What might his name be? I'll tell you. I'm pretty sure this guy's name is Rival. Of course. Rai. He and I, you know, we grew up together. Rival, is it? That's your friend's name? Yes, it is. All right, TJM, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. TJM Rival came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. You know how impatient Rival is. He took off before I could even ask what it was about. Oh yes, TJM, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Alrighty. Ah, Rival's house. Jeez. Rude. What was that about? Oh, hey, TJM. I'm going to the lake. You should come, too, and be quick about it. Okay, TJM. I'm finding you one million poke dollars if you're late. You can't find me. What are you even talking about? Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Yeah, your manners. Um, where did that doofus go? Oh, hi, TJM. Are you looking for Rival? Yeah, he just ran in here. I'd better take my bag and guidebook, too. Oh, hey, TJM. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a ten million polka dollar fine if you're late. You, you can't find me. You do realize this, right? Like, we're supposedly friends. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, Search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me to thinking. I'll bet our local lake has some Pokemon like that in it too. So, that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Don, we're leaving. Excuse me, let us pass, please. It's kind of rude, Professor. I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. 
What was that about, those two? Huh? TGM, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. I've seen the trailer, buddy. It's a briefcase? Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Wah! P Pokemon! What's going on? Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. Which one do you want then? Now this is the first big decision we've got to make in, in this Nuzlocke. So we're going to do something a little bit different, unusual for a Nuzlocke. Most of the time you pick your starter, you stick with them. Uh, what we're going to do is as soon as we're allowed to trade, we're going to get rid of our starter. We're going to trade it and get whatever we get, and then that's the Pokemon that we'll have to use for the rest of the run, or until it dies. Yeah, so about that. Um, it turns out that trading, except for local trading, is not implemented yet. So the thing that I was planning to do for this Nuzlocke to make it extra special, I can't actually do yet. And it turns out I don't know when exactly they're going to implement the global trading feature. So every time I mention that from here on in this episode, just now you know. Uh, you're in on the secret early before I find out. So that's that. So we're going to do this actually as a regular Nuzlocke for now. And if and when it becomes a, a possibility to do global trading, then... Maybe at that point, we'll change things up and turn it into a Wonder Trade Nuzlocke. So we will we will have to see. But for now, it's going to be a standard Nuzlocke after all. In a Nuzlocke, when a Pokemon faints, it dies. You can't use it anymore. So we can't trade, from what I've read, we can't trade until after we get past the first gym. It's just where the feature comes into play in the game. So we will be able to use this Pokemon until the first gym and a little bit after that un until we get to the spot where we can trade. So I think I'm gonna go with the tiny leaf Pokemon Turtwig. Turtwig should be good against the first gym leader. And this should knock it out. There we go, first battle done. Wow, your Turtwig totally rocked. But my Chimchar was way tougher than yours. There were other people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Huh? Oh no. Did, did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. I heard from Don that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Turtwig and Chimchar. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Um, oh, okay, Professor. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. What was that? all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, you could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? TJM, we should go home too. Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Rival are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sandgem Town. I've heard that he's well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. TJM, I think you need to visit him in Sandgem Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon because he disobeyed me a little brat. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know, TJM put these on. You received a pair of running shoes. Oh, good. Going to Sand Gem Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. 
Interesting instructions for shoes. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Again? It's with this rude guy. What the? Oh, it's you, TJM. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Nah, uh, it doesn't matter, TJM. I'm out of here. See you later. I guess he got some running shoes, too. Wow, what was that? Your friend sure seems really impatient. Finally, you've come. TJM, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that Turtwig to you as a gift. Thank you. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? I mean, sure. We're not going to get to keep it. We're going to trade it. But let's call him... Mikey. You know, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I'm so glad that you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. This is a kid's game. The Pokemon that I used for the first time was Piplup. Yeah, I'm not surprised. If you would have chosen Pip Piplup at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Yeah, except the game's not coded that way. Okay, so we're gonna buy some Pokeballs now. That means our Nuzlocke officially begins. So if we die from this point on, it's a death. It's not a faint. It's a death. We lose that Pokemon. So I'm going to need to catch some Pokemon pretty soon. So it's a good thing that I'm stocking up on some Pokeballs. Okay, this is our first encounter while we have Pokeballs. And it's a Starly. Which is not going to be useful for the first gym, which has Rock-type Pokemon. But... Let's go ahead and catch it anyway. All right, we got a Starly. Okay, what should we call this bird? Although it's not a duck, I'm gonna call it Ace Duck because, you know, I guess I'm doing a Ninja Turtles character theme. So here we go. Ace Duck has been added to your party. Okay, TJM, to get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. Oh, thanks. Wow, she gave me 20 Pokeballs. I guess I could have just waited and not wasted my first encounter on a Starly. Oh, well. All right, this is our first battle. We were challenged by youngster Tristan. Youngster Tristan sent out Starly. Oh, it's a level 5. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, does that mean I'm not going to be able to take it out in this hit? Oh, good, I still took it out. Let's see... Ooh, Bidoof. Okay, well, that's better than <laughs> encountering a Starly over and over again. Twelve seconds later. Um, as long as I don't crit it, I should be okay to hit it with another tackle. Alright, and let's go for a Pokeball. Should be an easy catch. We got it. So our Route 202 encounter is Bidoof. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. Ah, yes. What should we call Bidoof? I've decided to name this Baxter. Baxter Stockman. It's a turtles character it has really nothing to do with b doof but it starts with b so i'm going with it baxter has been added to your party okay so here in jubilife city we have a place that we can't get to quite yet and i understand that i have to beat the first gym leader before i can get here 
This person says, I'm so sorry, the GWS isn't ready yet. So GWS, as I understand it, is the global wonder system. This is a trading system that we will be using to get the rest of our Pokemon and to trade our existing Pokemon that we're starting in the Nuzlocke with. I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer, but you don't have a Poketch yet? Poketch is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I'm now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Poketch. Your state of Poketch. Noise. And now we can see what Pokemon we have in our party. All right, rival. Let's see what you got. Still you got your Starly, huh? That's what you're gonna lead with. Let's see what level you are. Level seven. All right. Well, best I got is Tackle. However, your Tackles don't do nearly as much as my Tackles. Which is kind of sad, really, because you've got the same type attack bonus, even. And hopefully one more hit will take you out. Quick attack? Yeah, it's not going to do much. Also, you didn't really need a quick attack since you're faster than I am, but okay. Oh, you've got a Chimchar, do you? Uh, let's see. <laughs> do, I, do I dare put in a level 5 Pokemon versus this thing? Let's, let's send in Ace Duck, just for fun. Hello, Chimchar. Oh, wow, that's a level 9 Chimchar. This might have been a bad idea. Well, let's growl. Oh, it's gonna leer me, huh? I lowered my defense. Oh, yeah? Well, I am going to lower your attack. Uh, I'm gonna growl one more time just for fun. Okay. This is a little dangerous, but just to keep things spicy, I'm going to bring in Baxter a little bit here. This might have been a giant mistake. But I'm pretty sure I can survive one hit of whatever this thing can do to me, so... Sure, let's tackle. Oh, I got a crit. Nice. Hmm. If it crits me, I die. So... I'm just gonna go for it. Tackle one more time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, well, speaking of a bit tight, I survived on one HP. So, um... Yeah... What shall I do? I, this is a little risky, but you don't seem to have a fire move yet. I don't think you have Ember, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to Mikey. All right, best thing I got against you is Tackle, so... All right, one more Tackle takes it down. Smack. My Route 203 encounter is... Oh, a Krikatot. Well, that's a type I don't have. It's also completely useless against the rock type gym. <sighs> well, I'm just gonna huck a Pokeball at it. Yay, Krikatot. It shakes its head back to front, causing its antennae to hit each other and sound like a xylophone. Okay. Krikatot, what nickname shall I give you? See, this actually would have been better to give Baxter because Baxter Stockman turned into a fly, which is a bug type. But I've got the perfect name for you. I'm going to call you Scumbug, which uh, I used to have the action figure for Scumbug. Another Ninja Turtles uh, cartoon character. Scumbuck has been added to your party. 
All right, scumbug. Wonderful. See what you got, kid. Youngster Sebastian is sending out a machop. You've got your karate moves. I've got my karate turtle. Ooh, a cave. Orber Gate. This is a new area. We might get a new Pokemon. Oh, looky there. You've got a Poketch. Hmm. Still pretty new trainer, aren't you? So let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. Ooh, I got some TMs. What did I get? What did I get? Rock Smash. Oh. When you use a technical machine to teach your Pokemon, move, the team will then break. So think very carefully. Yes, we know that. I've also added a new feature to your Poketch, Rookie Trainer. It's the Hidden Moves app. Ooh, use Rock Smash from your Poketch, and a wild Pokemon will get rid of boulders in your path. Nice. But to use this hidden move in the field, you'll first need the Gym Badge from Orberg City. Oh. Oh, what's our encounter? Oh, we get a Geodude. Okay, well, I'm not going to be using this for the gym. But it's another Pokemon that we can Wonder Trade. Let's see. It's a level 5. Should I just throw a Pokeball at it? Sure, why not? I got plenty. Yeah. Many live on mountain trails and remain half buried while keeping an eye on climbers. Oh yes, I would love to give Geodude a nickname even though I will probably never use him. I'm giving you the name Rocksteady. Yeah, it's kind of an obvious one, but I'm going with it. Rocksteady has been added to your party. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. He said he had to go to, uh, oh yeah, to Oroberg Mine. Up ahead, there's a huge mountain that towers above everything. It divides Sinnoh into two distinct halves. Foreshadowing? Oh, is this Rourke? Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, get rid of the boulder blocking your way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to be the gym leader first. That'd be me. Oh, you are Rourke. Hi, Rourke. Uh, nice to meet you. Wait, come back. Okay, here we go. Our first gym leader. He's got a Geodude. Okay. As expected, a Rock-type Pokemon. This guy's going to be pretty easy. Uh, that is, the Geodude is going to be super easy. Should we just go for it? We're both the same level. I have a super effective move that I can use against him. Uh, I don't know if it's going to one-shot, though. And since I'm planning on probably using the same Pokemon to take out his entire team, I did just get an X-Defense, and I wonder maybe I should use that right now. Stealth Rock. Okay, not a problem as long as we don't have to switch out. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and raise our defense as well with withdraw. Just taking some precautions here, just in case. Oh, you're going to defense curl too. Okay, great. That's great. I'm gonna do one more withdraw, just just to be extra safe. Probably shouldn't have used an X defense. Should have just withdrawn. Oh well. Oh yeah, you're gonna defense curl too. Okay, this is this is great. You know what? Uh, before you get a chance to do that anymore, let's just hit you with a nice, super effective leaf move, grass move. Ah, more defense curls. Okay. Yay. All right, three hit KO. Should have been a lot easier if it weren't for all the defense curls, but okay. 
Okay, well, I mean, at least you're not doing damage to me, right? So, oh yeah, okay, yeah, use the potion. Yep, yep, that's, that's great. That's just great. Yep, okay. Yep, yep, wonderful. Oh, you've got rollout. I'm gonna take this opportunity and set up a little more. Why not? <laughs> Your rollouts aren't hurting me too much. Uh, I mean, a little more than I would like, but uh, okay, yeah. Oof, dang. That's painful. Um, I was kind of hoping to avoid using a potion, but I feel like this is my best option at the moment. I feel like I could have played this a little better. Well, duh. But you know what? I gotta stop you from using rollout or you are going to murder me. Oh my goodness. I, yeah. Well, you live and learn. Like I said, this is my first Nuzlocke. Hopefully, I don't lose it right away. Learning all kinds of stuff I'm probably never gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in. But I think I need to use another potion already. Ugh. All right. Rock throw. Okay. All right. Well, we got a lot of defense boost stuff going on. I think I'm just gonna top off. I might as well, right? I've already used a potion. Might as well just use another one, get to max health. It's gonna knock me down just a little bit with a rock throw, as expected. Okay, nope. I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna hit ya. Should I growth? Did I get growth yet? I don't think that I did. Let's let's do that. Well, you can barely touch me. I did not use growth yet. Because I haven't seen that animation. Attack and special attack rows. Hmm. Let's do it again. Yes. Yes. Okay. No more messing around. You are going to die. You are going to live. Ah, sturdy, I see. Okay, well, fine then. I will take this opportunity to just potion again. And of course you're gonna use a potion also. Yeah, that's that's great. Alright. Leafage. You did three damage, man. And now you're dead. Alright, two Pokemon down. Okay. Razor Leaf. Oh, okay. That actually could be kind of useful. I'm going to replace Tackle because we're going to just trade away this Pokemon anyway, so there's not really any reason for me to hang on to Tackle anyway, no matter what. So let's, let's go for it. Gaining a whole bunch of other levels that just don't matter, learning moves that don't matter. Okay. All right, Kranidos, this is scary. I think, oh, I think you can take down the next Pokemon. I don't know, man. Kranidos is a little scary. I have to say, this is a strong Pokemon for this early in the game, but I'm gonna go for the Razor Leaf. I think with all the defenses that we've got up right now and with one growth, 
Maybe we can do some good damage. Oh yeah, we are totally fine. <laughs> so long, sayonara. And with that, we have defeated the first gym leader. Oh, and Scumbug gets to evolve right before we trade him. The very famous Dilele Whoop. All right, Cricketune. It crosses its knife-like arms in front of its chest when it cries. It can compose melodies ad lib. Great. Fury Cutter, which also I will never get to use. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's the story. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your gym badge since you've beaten me, the gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Coal Badge. Having that Coal Badge means you can now use the Hidden Move Rock Smash from your Poketch. You should also take these too. Ooh, some TMs. What did you give me? Stealth Rock. Oh, that could actually be kind of useful. It's a move that inflicts damage on opponents that switch into battle. Wait, the GWS isn't ready yet. So this whole time I've been thinking that I was going to do a Wonder Trade Nuzlocke. And apparently, what, the feature's not implemented in the game yet? So, if I remember correctly, I think that when they announced the game, they said that Pokemon Home integration was also not going to happen at launch. I thought that Global Wonder Station was going to be available at launch. I guess I was mistaken. So there's no way to trade Pokemon except locally? Wow. Wow. Okay, well, that's interesting, and I guess I will wrap up this as episode here uh, with a kind of surprise ending for me, and um, well, I guess it's a good thing we haven't lost any Pokemon in battle yet, uh, because I guess we may actually be using them after all. Okay, well, I guess that wraps up this episode, so be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and set it to all so you get notified about every video as soon as it's uploaded. Also, be sure to follow Ethanos Plays on Twitter, and if you're interested in Apple or cybersecurity, those are the kind of things that I usually do. I'm not really like a professional gamer, I'm just helping Ethanos to kind of build up some content for his channel. But if you're interested in cybersecurity or Apple, then follow me as well. I'm at the Josh Meister on Twitter. All right, see you next time.